Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. So I have a gaming related topic for today and that is why metas are bad for games. Now I know this might be a bit controversial and this isn't me attacking anyone who uses something that is very powerful in games, but I want to go into detail about why I believe that it's bad overall for the game. So the first issue comes with it limits individuality. Now, I'm mainly going to talk about PvP in this video, so let me let me tell you this. Uh, metas in a PvP game can completely ruin and just say, well, I'm going to play this game, and let's use a fighting game for example, and you're going like, hmm, this character looks fun, but in the meta you can't do crap with that character you picking that character is putting yourself at such a disadvantage that you are practically asking for a loss then now that's not to say that you can't put in work with that character but if you are going to use that character you have to accept that you're going to be at a significant disadvantage same thing with like uh competitive shooters like i suppose uh fortnite like Imagine picking up a revolver and saying, hmm, I like revolvers, I want to use this. You are going to be at such a disadvantage compared to, like, automatic weapons, it's not even funny. Now, individuality is important because if you're looking at multiple people, right, and you're going to multiple streams and channels, and you see the exact same play style, what the heck's the difference? Sure, they they might have implemented their own kind of techniques into the playstyle, but if they're using the exact same thing, like, is there truly much of a difference in that regard? In my opinion, I don't think so. I can assure you that there have been a fair share of games that just, they just fade from existence because of how bad the meta was. Like, this is especially bad with fighting games and competitive pvp shooters because if a gun is overpowered or a character is overpowered you not picking that character is putting yourself at the biggest disadvantage that you possibly can it is not to say that that character or that weapon is unbeatable but it's beyond strong and it's just not fair to the rest of the varieties of weapons or characters in the game to just have one just be able to do literally everything now secondly they shorten the game's lifespan overall i'm gonna be honest when i look at streamers for fighting games like marvel vs capcom 3 is a game that i really love watching i can't tell you how annoyed i get when i'm seeing the same meta teams with the same four characters that everyone uses or for example when i when um destiny one was a bit more popular than it is at the current state when i would look at the streamers and i'd always see him using you know the last word i'd always see him using someone i just get like Ugh, this guy's using the same thing let me go to another stream oh this guy's using the same thing let me go to another stream i mean you could go you could probably search up uh, a game right and go to eight different streams and probably s encounter people using the same weapon or the same character and it's just obnoxious it just completely makes the game dull like no one wants to watch someone play the exact same way over and over again can you imagine if football players right all ran exactly the same no one attempted to juke or anything like how boring would that be just watching someone robotically just go forward in a straight line not attempting to juke or anything it gets dull and i doubt that people would want to engage themselves in that because it's just watching the same thing over and over again and longevity is important because at the end of the day, a game can be bought, right? And that's fine. But 
I, I talk about this a lot, replay value. If the replay value is not there, I can assure you that your game is probably going to be relevant for eh, a week or two, maybe a month. And then that's it. No one's really going to play it. Of course, you're going to have your players that, you know, are committed to the game and you have the speed runners and all kinds of different uh people in the gaming community that can, I guess, keep some kind of viewership alive. However, that does not mean that your game is going to get as much attention as it possibly could if you continued to upload the, to update the game with a fair amount of replay value. But simply just having short updates where you completely neglect a game's meta, oh man, I can't tell you how fast that pushes away people because a game's always going to have new players, especially in a PvP game. There's always going to be new players to the scene, and I'm not saying you, to cater to them. But can you imagine if a new player is like, oh, this seems awesome, and they get on the scene, and then they're trying to use a weapon, and they're like, well, this isn't working, so they use the same thing as everyone else, right? And then they start getting good. And as they get good, they start getting a bit tired of using the exact same thing as everyone else. So they try and branch off. And then they just realize this is beyond stale. It is more interesting to watch wet paint dry and just glue your eyes to that wall than watching the same thing over and over again. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying hype stuff can't happen if you use a meta weapon. This isn't me attacking you as I have stated. But just watching the same crap over and over again, it gets dull. I can't tell you how many uh, tournament gameplays I've watched out of UMVC3 of people saying, ugh, this is so dull. It's putting me to sleep. Because they're watching about 12 different competitors use the exact same team the exact same way using the exact same combos or if it's a or if it's a uh, like i say a shooter the exact same gun using it the exact same way not even being aggressive just camping their tits off and it's just oh oh it's just so boring and that really kills <laughs> games man like if a game is not interesting to watch that thing's not going to be around <laughs> if that thing is not interesting to watch and there's nothing to keep you coming back to that it, the thing dies pretty quick i'm just letting you know right now that that's a fact twitch and youtube are what keeps games life's going if that thing is not interesting to watch your game just goes bye bye okay now third that causes complete outrage to the developers. Now, if a game is released and it's mainly a multiplayer game, and it's released, you know, fairly okay, but it, it's mainly, it, the main thing about it is PvP, you better believe that these fans are going to hate the way that uh, the developers choose to balance or not balance their game prime example of this is for honor everywhere people talk about how dead that game is and whilst i don't think it's necessarily dead i have no intention of ever truly wanting to learn to play that game every dlc a character would get released and that character would dump on everyone and then someone finds some kind of exploit with that character and they just find the perfect play style and then there's practically nothing that other characters can do to counter that said play style. You know, the devs don't nerf them, they just let that crap stay in the game for months and it just drives people away because they're like, okay, I got touched twice and I'm dead. Compared to your character having to do several different things to get the kill, this said character just comes in, oh, dead like come on how how is that balanced there and then people try and defend it and say it's not overpowered it takes skill i don't care how much skill something takes when it's to the point that you playing with that character means that you can 
to shot someone compared to another person saying, well, I'm just not comfortable with that character and they're good with the character that they are with, yet they have to hit you several more times, probably three times the amount that you need to hit them. You you can't think that that's truly okay and that's fair. And that that just destroys the dev's reputation because here are a lot of people saying, hey, this is overpowered. What are you going to do about it? And you and you probably just say, well, we had no way to balance it, so we just left it in. Like, that, it gets to the point where people start sending death threats, which I don't think are necessary, but it gets that bad. That's ridiculous. And last but not least, last but not least, it ruins the likelihood of discovering new play styles. I can't tell you, when I started Fortnite, I really wanted to get good with a revolver, right? Like, I know no one wanted to pick that thing up. No one wanted to uh, actually use that thing to its full potential. But as I tried to use the thing, now I get that Fortnite has a myriad of other factors such as Bloom and things like that, but let me just, just hear me out. As I tried to use that thing, I just couldn't do anything about the shotguns like shotguns would one shot kill you i'm not sure about now i don't think so but they would one shot kill you so here i am trying to use this weapon that relies solely on me getting the headshot and the shotgun to an extent relies on that as well except you can dps with it here i am hitting 142 damage compared to someone hitting me with a shotgun from a significant distance away for 200 and I'm dead and even if they don't they can just spray me down and I die way faster than I can output my damage it got to the point where I just could not use the thing I just couldn't and like I said that limited my individuality now like I said in other games like I know in Destiny I was able to play far differently than most people did I never really used the metal weapons but I can't deny that not using them put me at a disadvantage had i used those meta weapons i probably could have got more kills i probably could have had a higher kd all the time but it's not impossible to use something different but that lowers the likelihood because people are like why would i willingly put myself in a, at a disadvantage by not using what's best now don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with wanting to win but that, that is why metas are bad. They put people in a state of mind, meaning that there is no other way that I can win the game but to use this overpowered gun, but to use this overpowered character, but to find this super cheesy exploit. And when games get like that, they become stale. They don't live long. Devs get crap down their throats. And no one wants to play them anymore they become dead as the gaming community loves to call that and that's that's a really big issue i don't i that's why i think that metas are pretty bad for the game for the games in general but that's all i had to say on that topic how do you guys feel do you think metas are good or bad for the games and why tell me tell me in the comments below as always, rate the video what you think it deserves, tell me what you want to see in the future in the comments below, and I will see all of you in the next video. Take care.